now, expert, top 10 things to do in tourist attractions in Boise, Idaho. How Expert publishes how-to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit howexpert.com to learn more. Moving on, let's talk about How Expert top 10 things to do in tourist attractions in Boise, Idaho. Number one, Boise State University campus. Boise State University rose to fame because of our acclaimed football team, the Boise State Broncos. Ever since the 2007 Fiesta Bowl, Boise State University has been getting a lot of attention. The university was built alongside the scenic Boise River Greenbelt, so you can enjoy the stunning scenery while walking to class or going for a bike ride. With the Morrison Center, a beautiful theater for performing arts, sitting at the end of campus and the Albertson Stadium at the top, the campus is packed with things to see. Number 2. Julia Davis State Park and Zoo Boise After a walk through Boise State's campus, Cross the Boise River on the Friendship Bridge and enter Julia Davis Park. This park was donated to the city in 1907 and has been a lively hub in the middle of the city. The park is teeming with locals on bike rides with their families, people jogging with their dogs, or couples taking pictures in the Rose Garden. Many families visit Julia Davis Park just for one of the most kid-friendly activities in the city, Zoo Boise. The zoo often runs themed events, especially around the holidays and the summer months. So double check what events will be happening when you are visiting. Number three, Downtown Boise. Downtown Boise is filled with eclectic restaurants and original shops. In the summer, the streets are filled with a farmer's market on Saturday mornings, while in the winter, it becomes a snowy wonderland filled with football fans. Idaho State's Capitol Building overlooks the downtown area and it offers free guided tours to the public. On every street, there's a small business selling unique and handmade gifts. Boise also has a hockey team, the Idaho Steelheads, and they play at the Idaho Central Arena located in the heart of downtown. Some of the most amazing food is on 9th Street in downtown Boise. If you want the locals' recommendation, we would say that The Fork is the place to try in the city. They offer farm-to-table ingredients, staying loyal to farmers local to Idaho. Another great option is one of the newer restaurants in downtown Boise, Tupelo Honey, for a twist on southern food. Number 4. Botanical Gardens The Botanical Gardens are just six minutes outside the middle of downtown, making it the perfect way to get a little time with nature on your trip. Most commonly remembered as a place for school field trips, the Botanical Gardens actually host a lot of events geared towards adults too, like yoga and instructional flower care classes. They also host a summer concert series in Outlaw Field that features many bands weekly from May to September. The Garden hosts annual events as well, so make sure to check out what events will be held when you're visiting. Number 5. Hyde Park The Hyde Park District is one of the most historic places in Boise featuring homes that have been on the most picturesque street in the city, Harrison Boulevard, since 1916. Walking around that neighborhood and the Hyde Park District will take you back in time to see the streets that made Boise beautiful and the shops that surrounded them. Visit Goodies, a handmade candy, ice cream, and chocolate shop that has been in the area for more than 20 years. Number 6. Camel's Back Park a few blocks behind Hyde Park is Camel's Back Park, which features a playground and a giant hill to play on. You can either run directly up the hill or take one of the many trails to the top for a stunning view of the city. There are benches to grab for a picnic lunch or tennis courts free for the public use. Once the hill at Camel's Back is conquered, take a look at the backside, where a golden field of cheat grass lays, intertwined with hiking trails to the bottom of the hill. Number 7. Old Idaho Penitentiary The Old Idaho Penitentiary is another historical spot to visit on your trip to Boise. Built in 1870, this building is now mainly used for events and tours. They have fun events like paranormal investigation tours running all year long, as well as events focused more on the history and the preservation of the penitentiary. A Halloween-themed festival occurs throughout October called Frighten Felons, featuring a haunted house and a costume contest. Number 8. Table Rock Trail 
Nestled behind the old Idaho penitentiary is the trail to hike up to Table Rock, a site no one can miss in Boise. Parking is free at the entrance of the trailhead directly behind the penitentiary. The Table Rock Trail is 3.7 miles long there and back. However, there are less strenuous options, including driving to the parking lot located halfway up the hill and walking the rest of the way. From the top, the entire city of Boise is on full display. And if you're comfortable, drive to the top of the hill right before sunset to watch the city's buildings light up the sky. Number 9. Bogus Basin Bogus Basin is more popularly known for its winter activities. Bogus Basin is a popular mountain just 45 minutes from downtown Boise. During the winter season, guests can enjoy varying difficulties in skiing and snowboarding hills, along with a rental shop for all of the gear you may need. If you're looking to take the scenic route, you can ride the ski lift to the top of the mountain and take a hike through the snow in snowshoes. If adventure is more your speed, rent some inner tubes and fly down the tubing hill into a snowbank. If you're visiting in summer, take a ride on Idaho's only mountain coaster, the Glade Runner. Experience an outdoor roller coaster that weaves you through the landscape on top of the mountain, both a relaxing and panoramic ride. Summer activities also include scenic chairlift rides and summer tubing sessions. Number 10. Boise River Greenbelt Mentioned earlier in this list is the beautiful Boise River Greenbelt. The Boise River, a tributary to the Snake River, runs right through the center of the city. It runs for a 25-mile stretch following this river the whole way. Whether going for a jog in the morning or a stroll after dinner, you'll enjoy the scenery the Greenbelt has to offer. If you're visiting in the summer, don't be surprised to look into the river and find locals and tourists floating down the river. A must-do summer activity. Drop off your car in Barber Park, and don't worry, they'll have a shuttle at the end of the float to get you back to your car. Provide or rent a raft at the entrance to the river and get in the river. Beware, the water is really cold, so plan to go on a hot day. The float takes a little under three hours and you will feel relaxed and rejuvenated for your next adventure. If you liked our video, be sure to click like and subscribe for more How Expert Top 10 videos for all topics from A to Z in the future. Also, let us know about other topics you want us to do a How Expert Top 10 video in the future in the comments below. Thank you, have an amazing day, and I think I'm going to take a little float down the river. How Expert publishes quick how-to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit howexpert.com to learn more.